feels good. You know, it's uh, I don't care how long you've been <laughs> doing this or whatnot. It's uh, you know something new is always um, it's different. You get some you know some butterflies, which is uh, which is good. It was uh, you know I've been here for a few days. Uh, the quarterbacks report early, so that was nice to come out and run around a little bit with our pads on. So having a little bit of a head start, uh, and we did a ton of um, mental work. But uh, no, it was good. But but still, just getting getting a feel of the flow. Um, you know, I'm. I don't care how long you've been playing. It's something new. You want to watch and see how things are supposed to be run. But it uh, felt good so far. I mean, it's day one. Um, a pretty clean practice, I will say, for the most part, offensively and defensively, because we have a lot of things that are in. And there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of guys playing different positions. So it was, uh, wasn't bad. It was, it was a place to start. Jake, how much is at stake for you in this training camp? How much is on Well, I think, every, I think as the older you get, and this is the, my approach that I take it, is that, this is my last year. That's the way I look at it. Like next year, I'm gonna say the same thing. I mean, you just don't know in this league, and I think you you start to appreciate it more and start to enjoy it um, because this is a privilege. Yeah, training camp. It's always it's hard, and guys complain and whatnot. But when you look back on it, you know, I'm going into this is my 14th one. I started this morning. Um, you know, I spent over my life a year of my life in training camp. That's that's fun. Uh, it's uh. You know, that's how I look at it. Just dive into it, <coughs> enjoy it, and, uh, you know, and do everything you can because you just you don't know in this league. You don't know. And I think when you're younger, you take it for granted. Um, oh, yeah, let me get through this. I have so many more to go. You just, you just got to enjoy it. You know, and that, that's, that's my approach. When, when do you get a sense of what kind of team you truly have? Um, you know what? I think training camp, I think you can tell early on in spring sometimes. But uh, I really and truly believe – um, before your first game, you have a decent idea. I know I've always felt uh, I had a decent pulse on whatever team I've been on. Um, it, it doesn't matter how much talent you have. It's do you have the right mix, the right chemistry. It's, 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 it's proven. I mean, I think we've all seen that. I've played on many talented teams that just didn't have the right chemistry and some that were somewhat that were talented but not, you know, overly talented but just – guys who got it and then um, I think we I really and truly believe we have guys who, who get it who get the big picture um, because it's there's one thing in this league and that's winning there's nothing else at the very end of mini camp mm -hmm. um, Eric Mangini said he was not prepared to name me the mm -hmm. starter heading into training camp what did you make of that and have, did you guys talk about that or no we never did it and, and honestly um, I think you might have asked me a question earlier on you know because uh, we have a bunch of different packages we use and how would I, I've taken that five years ago compared to now whatever helps us be successful it doesn't matter I mean and, and I'm telling I'm not feeding you feeding you a line I mean it's true it's uh you know I, I just come out and work and try to do the best that I can and if I'm the best one to help us uh, to lead us on Sunday then great and if I'm not I got I mean, you got beat out I mean that's that, that's I mean that's the way it goes I mean that's it Jake you're might be in line to be the, the ninth starter in, in, in 12 years. This is mm -hmm. a town that hangs on every throw, be it training camp, mm -hmm. season, regular season. Mm -hmm. Just talk about dealing with that kind of attention. Well, I think that's the National Football League. I mean, when you suit it up on Sunday, you're one of 32 in the world. And, and so uh, that's there comes a, you know, there's a, a great deal of, you, if you want to call it pressure or expectations, but I think there's a reason that, quarterbacks play quarterback I think and to get to this level you've had to kind of go through that at some point and you I say a uh, quarterback and I say you I mean quarterbacks kind of maybe you, you embrace it you know okay this is what I got to do you know and then and, uh, it's it becomes a, a pride thing um, and you want to you want to do right and you want to you know help be be the guy to help your team win Will it be, uh, the two second year receivers mm -hmm. the high draft choices right. last year what do you see in them, and do you think the fact that you've been in the league so long that you'll be able to help them? Well, I think so, but I think having Bobby Ingram will also help a ton. I mean, this, you want to talk about a true pro uh, and a guy who gets it and understands. Uh, but these kids, they want to work. I mean, they're not worried about hurrying up. And um, Okay, well, I'm watching Brian Robisky right now catching balls. It's 30 minutes after practice. I mean, these guys, they get it. They want to be good, uh, and I think they made some – I was not here last year, but I was very impressed with all the, uh, the things they've, they've done in the spring. I'll tell you that much because we, we put a lot, of, a lot on those receivers, and they do a great job. So um, it's always hard for a rookie wide receiver to come in and do well. Very few come in and really shine. 
um, and you just never know when that time comes. And, and we can go back year after year. Miles Austin came on the scene last year. You know, I know my first year starting, Steve Smith was not a starting wide receiver the first two years, and he was a, a starting his third year, and he, he came came on the scene. So um, you just never know. But we got guys who want to be good. I know you're new to this area, mm -hmm. but there's a void in this town now that LeBron is gone. Can you guys? Well, we hope so. I mean, honestly and truly, we hope so. I mean, this is a, uh, um, you know, I'm born and raised in Louisiana. We have one sports team, New Orleans Saints, for, for years. Now they have the Hornets. I understand that. But, I mean, I think everyone saw how that attraction, not, not just the city of New Orleans, the state of Louisiana and into Mississippi in that area when they won it. I mean, that's, that's you know, it's football in, down in Louisiana. Well, that's what it is here, and that's great. You know, it's a, uh, we'd love to be able to, to put a winner out there and um, and and do well because this is a a true American football city. I mean that's it would be nothing better than to be a winner. Jake, how much how how much do you want to put last year behind you? And how difficult will that be? Oh, I've I've put it behind me ever. I mean, you know, whenever uh, your locker gets boxed up in Carolina, I mean it's okay. It's behind you now. But I've had a fresh start here. It's new. It's uh, you know and uh, but you don't want to. Okay, it didn't happen. Well, it happened. I mean, you, you, it, it did. So, I mean, I don't want to be that guy just to kind of sweep things under the rug. Yeah, it happened, but I think you learn from it. But uh, I'm with a new place, fresh start. Things have gone extremely well so far, and you know, I'm looking forward to uh, to a, to you know a, another season of football. Jake, Mike talked about your leadership. Mm -hmm. it just comes natural. First of all, did you sense any kind of void here when you got here? Like, hey, they need another leader. Look. Um, I don't know what happened in the past. I, I really and truly don't. I really don't know D.A. I don't know Brady, um, barely those guys at all. But when I got here March 15th, um, it, you know, I wasn't, all right, guys, this is how we do it. No, I mean, you, you, you just you keep your mouth shut and you blend in. You're one of the guys, but still you be yourself. And myself is talking to guys and just kind of having fun. I mean, just, just kind of starting to get to know one another because, I mean, we're going to see each other more than we're going to see our family for the next six months. I mean, that's just, that's, that's the game. That's the way it goes. And, I mean, we come from all walks of life. I mean, there's no other job in America where you're going to have a mix of people from everywhere. Uh, you know, race, just everything. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's just a mix. And you just kind of you get along. You know, there's going to be arguments here and there. You just kind of, you mold everything together and, you know, just, it, we're all here for the same purpose. And that's, that's to win, to make the Browns a, make the Browns a winner. I think uh, uh, he's a very precise route runner. That's one thing that I've noticed in the spring, and one thing I think he does extremely well is locate the football in the air, uh, down the field. Um, it, so certain guys, it, it comes natural to, to them, and they're very good at it, and I think that's one thing he does extremely well is down the field throws, ball up in the air. He has a great sense of timing and sense of body control about how to catch those deep balls. That's one thing that really stood out to me. Can you get an idea of how difficult it is, the transition that Colt McCoy has to make? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, I didn't play at the, at the high level in college like he did. Um, I was at a much smaller, you know, 1A school, uh, but he was on the national stage. So I think, um, you know, publicity and things like that, he's already understood that. But this game is faster. I mean, you always take the best guy on defense you played against in college, and, you know, yeah, he's very good. Well, there's now they're all 11 are just like that, if not better. So, I mean, there is somewhat of adjustment, but, uh, you know, he's done a really good job, and, and, and the kid's a smart kid, and he wants to do well. Um, and, that, and that's the biggest thing. I mean, he, when you don't come in thinking you're better than what you are and you work at it, it's, um, it makes it easy to work with people like, uh, like that.